Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you uh, this afternoon for a album review, and this is for a re-review actually for North Lane's Alien album that I'm going to be re-reviewing because I did one back in 2020, I believe, two years ago or almost two years ago. So I'm re-reviewing this album to see how the performance does for the video. So. I'm going to discuss what I listened to f again for this album, the 2019 album, Alien, and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this re-review. Now, the first song is Details Matter, and that was a pretty good song. Great opener to the album, for sure. Uh, Marcus Bridges' screams in it are so amazing in it. And it's a very wild song, for sure. Um, it There is a lot of EDM stuff with their metalcore sound. Even in some of the new album, there is, too. Uh, a lot more experimentation, but I'm going to go into that detail next week for Obsidian album review. Um... Yeah, Details Matter was a pretty good track. I love the instrumentation. The EDM stuff is pretty solid. So, 5 out of 5. Bloodline was one of the songs that I wasn't sure if I was liking. I like the music video. It's about someone being on drugs and all that. Or addicted to heroin. And shooting up and all that. And he's taking it out on, I guess, his brother or whatever. His little brother, so... Yeah, it's someone who's a drug addict and is just basically uh, being a total douchebag in the video. The guy that's playing the older brother is being is the one on drugs and all that. So yeah, uh, the video is a little graphic, and it does say viewer discretion is advised for the video. Uh, if you're old enough to watch it, of course, you gotta be 18 and older to watch the video, of course. But, uh, Bloodline was a pretty solid track. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Marcus Bridges singing in it, it sounds monotoned for how he's singing it, but that's what they were trying to do with the song. So, 4.5 out of 5 for Bloodline. I wasn't sure if I was feeling for it too much with the overall sound of it. But structurally, with what the music video is going for and what the song is trying to go for, I think it's a solid track. So yeah, 4D is the next song, and that was a pretty excellent song. I like Marcus Bridges' clean sings and his screams in this song. Sounds really good, and the EDM stuff really takes over this song quite a bit, so... 5 out of 5 for this one. I think it works, honestly. Um, Talking Heads is the next track. And that was a pretty intense song. Um, there's a lot of screams from Marcus Bridge in this track. So, 5 out of 5 for this one. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Free Fall was pretty good of a song. Um, there may have been... I don't know if there was much screams in it maybe there was or so i have to go back and hear this song again in full but i did enjoy this track for sure because it's been a little bit since i've listened to alien by north lane but north lane has put out pretty good albums in their discography um but five out of five for free fall i did enjoy it for what it was um Jin is the next song, and pretty awesome song, I should say. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think there were some clean, well, clean scenes and screams. It's something I have to go back and listen to, because I woke up this morning feeling off, like my brain was foggy, because of what I told you guys last night about my family cat. Uh, having to be put down, unfortunately. But, yeah, it wasn't a terrible song. I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Eclipse is the next song, and that was 
pretty strong of a track. It's pretty intense with the music video, too. Just in the mind of a drug addict and all that. And it's pretty fucked up video, honestly. But, hey, um... It's basically in the mind of a drug addict, and Marcus Bridges' screams in it are great in this song. And this is getting a 5 out of 5. I really enjoyed this track. There's a lot of EDM stuff in this song with the metalcore sound, but it works. So, next song is Rift, and that was a solid track. I wasn't sure if I was liking the clean sings from Marcus Bridge too much, because it really took over the majority of this song. And 4.5 out of 5 for this one. I don't know if I feel for it. Um, Paradigm was a pretty strong song. Great screams from Marcus Bridge. And Vultures had really good screams too. Even though the song came out in 2018. Before this album came out. Um, like a year before. But it works for what it's going for. And the final track. Sleepless, not a bad way to close it, but there's a lot of mixing problems with the song. Like, the mixing in the song is a little off, and the production in it kind of sounds really m lowered with the volume and all that. The vol audio quality in the song was not very good. They could have done a little better to execute it much better, in my opinion. But 4.5 out of 5 for Sleepless, and Vultures and Paradigm are getting 5 out of 5s. So overall, production, mixing, and execution, coming back to this Alien album, it's still going to get the same rating I gave it in 2020. Um, there's just some production problems with how it sounds with certain songs, but in a way, I think... This album is pretty good for what it went for with the EDM and metalcore sound. So overall, I think North Lane Alien, the re-review that I did for you guys, uh, this album was pretty good. So I highly recommend checking it out and seeing what you think of it, of course. Uh, so first score for me, I'm giving it the same rating I gave it in 2020, which is an 8.5 out of 10. So this is a pretty good album. I, it has its pretty strong moments and a few weak moments in the album with tracks like Bloodline, Rift, and Sleepless. Those were the only songs I found to have problems with. 4D kind of had a little problem, but not too much of a problem. But in a way, I think this album executed pretty well. So 8.5 out of 10 for me. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the North Lane album, Alien, if you've heard it. And if you enjoyed this re-review I did for you guys, uh, I wanted to re-review this. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you for some iCarly episodes for the reboot series for season 2. I'm going to... Give it a shot and see what I think of it. Um, because the last season had some underwhelming episodes. Uh, the beginning was fine, and then it just got a little iffy with some of the execution with certain episodes and how it was performing. Uh, but I'll give season two a shot and see what I think of it. Because it was renewed for season two. It started last Friday. I didn't get a chance to review the first three episodes that just came out. The first two came out last Friday, and the new one came out yesterday. So I'll give it a shot and see what I think of Season 2 for the reboot series. But I hope you enjoyed this North Lane Alien re-review. Keep in mind I'm just expressing my own opinion on what I thought of this album. If you didn't like this review, that's okay. But if you did, that's great. Um, and I'll be reviewing some of their EPs before Obsidian comes out. Which Obsidian's coming out in six days. So on April 22nd, you'll definitely see a review from me probably on the 21st. Premiering on the 21st. 
So stay safe, guys. Take care. I hope you enjoyed this re-review for Northlane Alien. And as always, I will see you in my next review.